Welcome back to episode one of segment nine, negotiating inspection contingencies during offer collection. Now, why do inspections matter to you as a home seller? Well, an inspection contingency in most cases allows the buyer an opportunity for further negotiations or to release the purchase and sales contract entirely without penalty. This is an important consideration when you're collecting and considering offers during your offer collection period, like we talked about in segment five. The standard Rhode Island residential purchase and sales agreement that is used by the majority, if not all realtors here in Rhode Island, allows for a 10 business day window where the buyer can perform their property inspections and clearly states that the buyer can terminate the contract in that time period if the seller is not willing to negotiate based on the findings or for simply not being satisfied with the results of the inspection in general, which obviously leaves a lot open to interpretation. Now, if you're in a seller's market, which pretty much all of Rhode Island is at the time this video is being recorded, and you've marketed and priced your home accurately, you may very well end up with a buyer willing to waive their inspections in an attempt to make their offer more attractive than their competition, which alleviates one of the major contingencies you have as a seller in getting to the closing table. If you find yourself in a multiple offer situation, which you likely should if you've done a good job so far serving as your own stinking realtor, be sure to consider inspection contingencies when reviewing all of your offers. Is the buyer asking to have full inspections? Are they asking to have them for information purposes only? Or are they offering to waive them entirely? Depending on the condition of your property and other factors, it may make sense to agree to a slightly lower offer if they've agreed to not have any inspections that could lead to further negotiations in price or additional work you need to pay to have done prior to closing. Keep in mind that even if it's stated that inspections are for informational purposes only, you need to clarify if the buyer is agreeing they won't try to negotiate but still have the intent to be able to release based on the findings. If you've got multiple offers to consider, you also have the option to communicate with the individual parties and ask if inspections are a contingency the buyer may be willing to consider waiving to beat out their competition. Keep in mind that many savvy buyers will not be willing to waive their inspections as that's a huge risk to take from the buyer's perspective, which I'm sure you understand, but it never hurts to ask. Just make sure you're tactful in how you ask. Remember, how you ask a question matters just as much, if not more, than what you're actually asking. And there you have it. No inspections can be an advantageous thing to negotiate for yourself as a seller if you're able to. It can take one more potential obstacle out of the way in your race to the finish line. Next up in episode two, we'll dive deeper and cover understanding the inspection process without an agent. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and share, and let us know what questions you have in the comments below. See you for episode two.